structural events are something that kind of took me a while to get my head around. We used to look at loss of heterozygosity, but structural events are really common and you can have small deletions, small gains, rearrangements. So it covers a whole kind of series of different features. And the other thing that happens with structural events is their copy number changes at the sites of the breaks and rearrangements. So if you put all of that together, you can describe slightly different types of structural events that occur in myeloma. And so there are sim simple ones, complex ones, and then there are ones that are very complex. There's a one called chromoplexy where you form chains of events that tend to be focal and they're driven by a mechanism called templated insertion. And the feature of these things is super enhances driving gene overexpression. And so like nobody's interested in this except if there's a practical purpose. But those genes that are overexpressed are suitable targets for therapy. So if you look at chromosome one, SLAM F7 is overexpressed, you can target it. MCL1 is overexpressed, you can target it. So by studying them, you can find new drivers and, and new targets for therapy which is really exciting. And then there's the more complex one, the chromothripsis, which really is associated with poor prognosis.